All right, so I've got this smart strips. I've not tried these, and I'm going to try these to test my pull. I tested it, and the pull uh, chlorine and the uh, was fine, but the pH was low. Everything was low. I have been slacking a little, so I added some stuff. I'm going to retest it, and it should be a little better now. And we're just going to see how these pull smart strips do because you can check it with this color code, color code here, but you can also take a picture of it with an app. As they show on this box here, you'll take a picture of it and it will calculate the results for you so you don't have to do the eye test. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to see how the water is and show you how this works. This is Clorox Pull and Spall Test Smarter and they're the strips. So they have some liquid one too. I don't believe the app works with that. So if you want to do it where uh, you can use just your smartphone, which is available for iPhone in the uh, App Store and on Google Play, you'll need the test strips. So uh, you can get this at Walmart or on Amazon and uh, test your pull with it. So I'm gonna show you how I will do that. Now first you need the Clorox Pull app. Uh, next to that I got the Pull Pal app, which is a real nice app as well. Uh, so you can go in here and put how many gallons of pull it is and it will tell you what you need to add to your pull. It's free and uh, so I recommend that one as well. But we're gonna wanna use the Clorox Pull app. So as I pull this up here, um, you see test strip testing, liquid testing, uh, and solve visible problems. We just want to do this. You do have to register on the app. It has some information uh, and then you'll be able to do this if you get the smart strips. So I'm going to go ahead and click scan to test and it gives you a little bit of stuff here you can read through. Uh, use only the multi-use smart strip scan uh, your test strips and receive accurate product and dosage uh, recommendations as well. Salt strips are not compatible uh, with scan. So let's go ahead and slide that and we'll go ahead and hit scan now here in just a moment. But first I want to go ahead and put it in the water. You're supposed to do this, uh, uh, take a picture of it. It says within 15 seconds. So I'm going to try to do all this real quick uh, while showing you what I'm doing the best I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that under the water for just a second, pull it out. It says go ahead and do one shake, and then if you turn this over, it's got a little white spot. You just go ahead and lay that on here, like this. Then all you do is get your phone out. We're going to go ahead and hit scan now, so you can see. And you just line this up. may not show real well. Okay, the sun is making this hard. You know, I get a little better area here. You can see here the app shows me my total hardness is within key. My chlorine is at number three. A free chlorine is at three. Now these down here kind of shows I need to work on. I actually added some stabilizer in there earlier today and I added some pH in there earlier today. Uh, so far that hasn't changed. I uh, may, may need to let it sit a little longer or add a little more. I'll probably wait a week to let these things kind of stabilize some and test those. But uh, you can see here, it automatically calculated it. That's about where I like that, which is one of the most important parts, but I do need to get that. When I get that up, I will show a video of, of that all corrected as well. Uh, but you can go into that Pull Pal app I have. And you would just go ahead and enter, uh, for example, 6.2, and you want to get it 7.6, and it's going to tell you what you need to add to your pool to get it to where you want it based on the uh, information you give here. You can put your gallons of water, uh, what you like to use, and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought those test strips, smart strips, are pretty cool. Um, I'll put a link below to where you can get those if you'd like to get those. Uh, you can also just pick them up at Walmart. I think they're about 10 bucks or so, give or take a dollar. And you get 25 of them in the standard box. It has to be the strips to work for the app. They have a liquid one. And while it shows the app on it, I don't think it will actually give you the results. I could be wrong. If you find different, let me know. 
uh, leave a comment below and uh, I'll answer your questions if you have any. Don't forget to subscribe if you're a pool owner and like good pool tips and information. You guys have a great day. My name's John with Barry's Pool.